There's one more piece to bring the whole thing together. I call it my Woody the Woodpecker philosophy, okay? So hopefully most of you guys are old enough to remember Woody the Woodpecker. If you're not, there was a great cartoon. He was this obnoxious woodpecker that would fly around with this goofy laugh, peck you on the head, that kind of stuff, right? So what's the purpose behind my Woody the Woodpecker philosophy? I'm going to go to my gym analogy for a second. So typically, generally speaking, you walk into a gym and you're going to sign up for the trainer. Now, I think more often than not, trainers have the right intentions, but there's many things that tend to prevent them from creating the best experience. One of which, the average tenure of a trainer in the industry is only two years. So if you haven't noticed, we have a really saturated market that's being diluted with inexperienced people. And everybody's got to start somewhere, but that's just something to be mindful of, right? So what the average trainer is going to do, they're going to sit down, they're going to be like, all right, Jane, I want you to sign on the dotted line, commit to X number of days a week with me, commit to X number of days of cardiovascular homework, go on X, Y, and Z calorie restricted diet, drink this much water, get this much sleep, do this much stretching, do all this stuff. And then what happens? Life happens. And when life happens, what's the first thing to go for most people? One or everything up here on the whole wheel of wellness, right? So what my philosophy became is pick your power. And the thing that we like to start with is the thing that we have the most direct impact and influence over, that weight training or resistance training. And simply put, the whole idea is for us to create that habit. But more importantly, until that habit transcends into a lifestyle or ritual. And all the while, like Woody the Woodpecker, we're sitting there on your shoulder planting the seeds of change for making any updates to your nutrition, your sleeping habits, your hydration, whatever's next and most relevant to you. And when the time is right, it will all fall into place because what I realize is we learn from our failures, but we build on our successes. So as you start to create momentum in any one area, the brain will start naturally going, all right, this feels pretty good. What can I do now? What can I do now? We slowly stick. It's about progress, not perfection. And that is what creates the opportunity for sustainable life changes. I'm Zach Palmer with Fitness Gear and Training and 30 Minute Fit.